The old saying goes that one man's trash is another man's treasure. So what kind of a creative mind looks at, say, the ruins of an old casino and sees a hit art installation? The wonderful kind that belongs to the free-spirited artist Harry Smith caught up with for our Sunday Closer. <laughs> Spend a couple of hours with artist Peter Tunney, and you will come away thinking that one of you is wired incorrectly. I gotta say, I've done a lot of things. Never ridden around in one of these before. In a lit up ladybug high powered golf cart through a maze of murals, you never did that? Not, this is my first time. He is a man of unbridled passion and unlimited energy. You put the volume on 10 at all times. With the bug blaring, we tour Wynwood, a once dying Miami neighborhood that is now the hottest of cultural hotspots, of which Tunney is the self appointed apostle. There's one place like this on the planet. You put a tack in the map, it's here. It's free, it's amazing, it's visual. And so here we are. This is Tunney's gallery. The centerpiece, a ginormous chandelier pulled from the ruins of the Trump Taj Mahal in Atlantic City. The new owner of the Taj, a friend of Tunney's, gave him carte blanche. Amazing. Picker's paradise. I said, can I take that? golden frame and how about that elephant and what are you going to, he said, Tony, you take whatever you want. He brought back truckloads of stuff, some of which he turned into an installation on Miami Beach for Art Basel last December, an eerie homage to a movie classic. The night before, on a zillion to one shot, I happened to watch at 1.26 a.m. in the morning, the last four minutes of The Planet of the Apes from 1968. Yo! And I saw the Statue of Liberty on the beach in Charleston, so that was just banging around my head. With the rest of the stuff, he makes collages. He calls it upcycling. Upcycling, yeah, hopefully. <laughs> well, it was in the dumpster, and now it's 20 grand, so that would be upcycled. <laughs> Some pieces in the gallery have been upcycled to $50,000 or more. And might you be surprised to learn that the unschooled Tunney was once a salesman before he declared himself an artist. Bam. You don't want to brag, but I'll just say, I haven't been beaten yet. Guys that bought cars from me, bought stocks from me, now buy art from me. Tunney's collages are all irrepressibly upbeat, bromides and quotes that he himself swears by. Mantras, maybe, because the Peter Tunney of a decade ago was a wreck. In your adult life, were you loaded, stoned, drunk, for a good chunk of it? Well, I mean, 30 years. <laughs> I, I always say this, I went to a party when I was 13 and they had free beer and cute girls and marijuana and I came home when I was 45. Wow. When his brother showed up and asked if he wanted to get sober, he said yes. Should have my lights put out 150 times. There you go. Rehab and 12 steps have given him a new life. Love has a lot to do with it too. You're the best. I've got a beautiful two-year-old son named Art, a wonderful wife. We've been married for 10 years. Life is good these days, says Tony, and so is business. Live in a room with 25 paintings that say gratitude and today is the day, and you'll end up being pretty happy. That's my sales pitch, Harry. You in? For Sunday Today, Harry Smith, Miami. I want to hang out with Peter Tunney. Perry, thank you very much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.